How's it going everybody? Ragroth here. So we recently got a new Soul Calibur 6 reveal character for the season 2, finally. It feels like it's been a while since they announced Halmaru and just that there's going to be a second season. And it's Hilde, the female character that debuted in Soul Calibur 4. Um, the one that uses the spear and kind of the sword moveset with the red hair. Uh, so I'm kind of just going to jump right in. I know I'm a little late with this, so let's chuck it out. Blow out my eardrums as usual. Army of Malfesta, you will even capture all over the world. Hmm, this is different. It's different than the usual trailer layout. Hmm. I know I saw she has a really different design. I do like the new look. Definitely more regal. My people are behind me. I cannot lose. I did always like her. She was pretty cool. I know she was considered like super overpowered. But... Okay. Generally giving me typical Hilda vibes. Oh, okay. That's fresh. The nightmare will devour your soul. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. It will devour my soul. Hmm. You can do some fancy new things, I notice. Oh. Nice. Behold my power. The wolf claws. It fights. Oh, right in the crotch. It tears oh, that's cool. She shoots like a spiritual wolf. This victory brings my people hope. DLC 7, Helde, Soul Chronicle, Creation. Ah, she is the yellow one. Alright, so I'm going to do something I don't normally do in my reaction videos. I notice a lot of the people do it, they'll kind of watch the trailer twice. Um, and I apologize if I don't do that in the past. And the main reason I don't do that is because most of my videos wind up being so long. Um, I feel like the reaction videos, I at least get to have them be a little shorter for people. Um, but I'm going to start doing that, and this trailer is not that long anyway. So let's start over from the top. And... Okay, got a nicer look at her design. So she still has the armor on, but she just kind of has like the regal queen coat, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, the trench coat. My people are behind me. I cannot lose. She was always like, she was always fairly easy to use, but like also kind of a bit of an edge, I guess, too. Because it's like her horizontal moves and like vertical moves are so different because like the range, because once she uses a little sword for her, once she uses a freaking like pole arm for her. Very well. <laughs> battle it shall be. I know she's not actually responding to that, I just think it sounds funny out of context. Yeah, I mean, she looks like Hilde. That's sick. Behold my power. The wolf claws. It fights. And it tears asunder. This victory brings my people home. Yeah, the critical edge is pretty sick. Critical edge is pretty cool. I think she is the same voice actress. I can't tell it's been a while i feel like she does though so first um i think she looks great uh, i like hilde she is definitely a step up from cassandra and amy i like her more than both of those and i think she's at least kind of i, I know amy and cassandra are not clones but they do have similar fighting styles about the characters in the roster while hilde does not uh, she looks great love the new design um it's cool i guess we got someone you know post soul caliber 3 in the game but here's why i'm also pretty bummed uh, so I guess, you know, if any of you have seen my kind of re prediction videos on who's going to be in the season pass, um, I did say Hilde was, I, th I think she had a chance. I think it was kind of between her and a new character, though, for I think that, like, third, that, like, third pick. No, no, the fourth one, the fourth one, my bad. The, the fourth one, like, the, the grayish colored silhouette one. And I was really, I was pretty confident that Huang was going to be that first DLC character. Uh, especially with the yellow background, and you know, just to kind of break it up a bit, because we've only gotten females DLC, but you know, I guess, I mean, I guess how Maru's gonna, I guess how Maru's gonna break it up, 
Um, but it's like, eh, I don't know, I'm not that excited for Almaro, even though I do like him. So I'm kind of really worried now that either Huang or Setsuka is once again going to miss out on this game. Because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that at least one of those characters that we don't know about is a new character. Not to mention now that Halmar is next, we're going to have to wait an even longer time for the character. We don't know who's next, most likely at least. And I was really hoping for Setsuka and even more so Huang. I, I don't know why... I was really hoping we would just kind of get everyone from Soul Grabber 1 to 3 in this game. Even if we got, even if we got Yun Song, at least I could create Huang. But it's like, I don't know, they'd have this vendetta against Huang and the Chinese swords guy, the Korean swords guys. Um, I, I don't know what the deal is. I, I like, I like Hilde, but it's just like, I feel like her, it was not her time to be in this game. We've had her three games, in, we've had her four or five. Yeah, we've had her three games in a row now. Like, come on, she's cool, but... This is a bit much. She should have been like one of the last DLC characters. I mean, I'm still gonna buy her, but I, I'm not. I'm not even sold on the season pass yet. I'm not really like, you know, because like season pass one at least had two B, who's like my most wanted guest character. So I feel like I needed to, even though I kind of like I kind of like these two characters more than Cassandra and Amy at least. But yeah, it's this is definitely bittersweet. The character itself is good. I just think the selection of her and the timing is not good though and i'm i'm concerned for setsuka and huang probably more so huang because i think setsuka was always more likely especially because the third color kind of matches more of her thing you know while i don't really associate huang with any of those colors granted i don't really associate hilde with any of these colors either but i guess i didn't expect her to kind of have like a gold sort of look to her outfit um so yeah a uh, bittersweet reveal cool character but not you know, things are looking a little grim for two of my most wanted's left. Um, I really thought Bandai Namco would have kind of tried to get everyone from Soul Guy 1 or 3 out of the way before going, you know, to like 4 or 5 and 5. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I'm not super sold on the season pass yet, honestly. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below, how, you know, you feel about this and how you like Hilde. You know, if you're worried about, you know, characters like Setsuka and Wong. I mean, ideally, maybe Setsuka and Wong will be the next one. We won't get a new character. I just feel like the things Okubo was saying, it was hinting we would get a new character. I honestly kind of don't want one. Um, I mean, there isn't that many in the game, but I really think having a new character DLC is always kind of risky because it's like that character doesn't have a fan base yet because they're new. I think they're better for just base game characters. This is kind of my complaint with Leroy in Tekken 7, even though no one wants to listen to me with that. But yeah, don't forget to, forget to check out my friend Mark Yoon in the description below. Don't forget to check out Mr. Anderson Plays Games in the description below. I think we should be doing some of this Thursday as usual, I think. I know it's been a little bit. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, I also have a Patreon too, for those that don't know. You can check that and like again, not expecting much. You know, I'd appreciate it to any support. I'll give a shout out to your support. And I did actually make sure to lower the price of, I guess, the Patreon. You know, the Patreon, I guess subscription or whatever or whatever is the pledge i mean it was ten dollars i made it one dollar i only had ten dollars because that's what was recommended by patreon i just made it one dollar now so yeah <laughs> and thank you so much for checking out this video and as i was saying at the time or the place keep being awesome